dirt roads to rock crawling, two buck chuck to screaming eagle, moonshine to 50 year old single malt. We talk about it all here on Wheelin' Wine and Whiskey with your hosts, Jason and Chris. Welcome to the Wheeling Wine and Whiskey Podcast, episode 272. Hey, Chris, you're right across from me. Yes, I am. How, How you, you doing? Do- How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm at Meadow Lake still. We are at Meadow Lake, and one of our favorite places to be, and we have a great campsite looking at... We're sitting in Studio Lance right now, my, my Lance camper, and uh, looking out the window at uh, Meadow Lake. It's a beautiful, sunny, war- uh, semi-warmish day. Yeah, no, it, it was it's good. Uh, you showed up yesterday. Yes, sir. Uh, we were out on trail all day yesterday, and you held down the camp. You and Lorenzo, I, I noticed the whiskey bottles are a little bit lower than when you first arrived. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we may have been doing a little bit of day drinking. I, I rolled into into the campground at six thirty in the morning. I actually drove up on Monday night and stopped at that uh, that staging area, little trucky summit, little trucky summit, yeah, off of eighty nine there, and spent the night there. It's, I don't like driving on Meadow Lake Road in the dark, so um, even though I did drive in in the dark part of it in on the, the way yesterday morning, but it, man, the road's good. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it keeps getting better every year, and uh, you can tell where the county lines start and stop because there's different maintenance <laughs> on the road. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's uh, that last three miles is always kind of a white knuckle experience in the past, and it was just smooth, easy going this time. It was yeah. great. Yeah, that's good. Well... Welcome to uh, Shangri-La. Hell yeah. So, uh, another beautiful day in the neighborhood here. So, yeah, before you got here was Sierra Trek. Yeah, official real deal it, uh, Cal 4 Sierra Trek, right. 57th annual. And uh, attendance was a little low this year, but still good time, great weather. Um, you know, it, everybody was enjoying themselves. Trail was tough as usual. Uh, a lot of breakage as usual, uh-huh. but everybody made it back to camp or uh, off the trail, I should say. Some people had to turn around and head back out uh, uh-huh. Eagle Lakes. Um, and then uh, I heard they got some special permission to use the committee uh, trail once, oh, too. really? Yeah, somebody was pretty pretty badly broken, so um, they got a, got a one-time use. A little exemption? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, good good event. We had a nice little camp. Wayne uh, dialed us in with a camp in the meadow. So we had Ozzy and, and Kelly and uh, James and Rhonda came in, you know, myself, uh, Justin uh, Wicks with his new girlfriend. And, cool. Uh, and then we had Anthony from DF Fab and his whole family. So that oh, was cool. Right on. That's a great camp. Breaking in the uh, the brand new five seater. So thing looked great. Oh yeah. yeah. How'd that is that, that did really you get cool. a, did you run it in it, ride in it at all? I didn't. I, I sat in it at a shop though. I call it the couch. <laughs> the front seat is custom PRP and uh, he's got harnesses in the center for one of his, you know, his little boy. He's got three boys, so uh-huh. uh, the youngest gets to sit in the middle of of mom and dad there, so so it's that not shotgun but mini shotgun. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like mini shotgun, but it, it's like a couch. You look at it; it's cool. And uh, he took it down the trail Friday night. We did a little night run, and uh, that was great. Uh, he had one minor little fuse issue that he's got to address. Uh, it was nothing major, well, and growing everything pains, else, right? everything you know, brand new car and everything else worked great. So, um, looking forward to seeing that here in the uh, future runs and. The trail heroes not around a big big event for him well that's good and so did he have a booth or anything or? nope no booth no they were sold out apparently I, I i i don't know why they turned vendors away there's so much more room it's right there yeah i don't get that but whatever just make um, a second row a second row yeah, you know there's no, all there's, there's tons plenty, of space there's plenty of room i mean they're all in like the town but there's plenty of room out too and if you you get the prime spot if you sign up early you sign up late you get out in the meadow but everybody's walking by that area going in and absolutely. out of camp so yeah, absolutely. Know, whatever anyways uh, it's not my not my monkey not my circus right. so <laughs> you're not the ringleader <laughs> but what we did uh, or I did get a chance to sit down uh, with uh, Justin Wicks and Ozzy right Justin Koo. so we just call him Ozzy because you know we got too many Justins in in that camp mm-hmm. and uh, yeah we got to hear about them getting ready for Vegas to Reno which is happening this week that's right so we're uh, we're a day late getting this podcast out but they are in Vegas now, 
um, getting ready for the race this weekend, Vegas to Reno. Sweet, that, that'll 4, be fun. Class. I, I got to find out where that's being streamed so we can watch. Where they? Yeah, it. they're going to send me the the info. So we and we got uh, got the old Wi-Fi going now with uh, thanks to Elon Musk and Starlink. So, um, <laughs> right, we should be able to upload this episode from the Meadow Lake, and uh, and then you guys can. Uh, stream it in your ear holes there and listen to it um, before they start this race. Absolutely. Gone gone are the days of just sitting at Meadow Lake and being off the grid. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it's nice. I mean, I've been off, but I, you know, you got to do the gram on windshield three. So I did some, uh, some Instagram live there and then our little mining uh, tour yesterday, which we'll get into in another episode. But I think uh, now we should just uh, hear what Justin and Ozzy had to say. Sounds good. All right. Okay, we are here at Meadow Lake 2024 Sierra Trek, sitting down with some more VIP guests here that have wandered into camp. Our camp has grown quite large. It's, it's, it's a mini KOH here. Speaking of KOH, we have Justin Wicks back in the house. How you doing, Justin? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me back. Right on. Well, thanks for bringing the race car. You brought some class to this campsite. Oh, yeah. I had to bring it up real quick for a quick uh, test run for... Vegas Torino coming up next weekend. Yeah, so we're going to get into that. That's going to be freaking awesome. Um, and then we also have the other Justin here. We just call him Ozzy. G'day, good morning. How are you? <laughs> yeah, good. So try to enunciate so people can understand you because, uh, you know, you speak a foreign language. So there. when I say water, I have to say water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, uh, thanks for being here. Let's uh, let's just dive right in. Let's uh, let's go back in time a little bit to uh, February earlier this year. They had that that big race down in the desert. Koh. Yeah, Koh was. Uh, we showed up with a brand new car after our first fire. Right. And uh, car was working great all week. Um, we got a brand new motor in there, built by Maruzi, um, putting out close to eight hundred horsepower, and in that. 4,000 pound car it rips yeah and uh yeah it was working great all week um started the race we were in a pretty good qualifying spot um made it about 10 miles and noticed the transmission started slipping and so we pulled over real quick um and noticed a broken transmission line again so jeez oh, what uh what's what what happened what did it get cut did it so separate? I think the main problem was we were running, I mean, I'm, I know quite a few people do, but we were running aluminum AN fittings uh-huh. on everything, and uh, it just didn't hold up. So I really? think it was an old fitting, so I Uh-oh. think it was just tightened a few too many times. And so now in the in this fresh car, we got all steel fittings, all high-pressure okay. hi- um, hydraulic hoses built for it, so we should be pretty all right. pretty good there for Vegas Torino. So you, you just puked out all the fluid? Yeah, we puked out yeah. all the fluid. Luckily, it didn't damage the transmission. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, didn't make it very far. Didn't have anything in the car to fix it. Yeah, so yeah. We, that you know, something like race. that happens out there. You, you're, yeah. What do you do? <laughs> That's a tough one. Oh man, it sucks. As we talk about it all the time, just the little little things, fucking fuse something, whatever, and it causes a fucking headache, and then it into race after preparing for a whole year for the damn race so um, but that's racing as they say not that that makes it any better but that's 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 it for sure it's heartbreaking for sure but every race we come back with a better car so right exactly and it, it's been fun to watch that car evolve over the years uh since i've known you and uh, the wicks racing family team there um but yeah it's um yeah well you're you're back better than ever and uh let's uh Okay, so we fast forward now. Um, so what have you been doing to the car here getting prepped for Vegas Torino? So coming from Hammers, it was a pretty pretty fresh car. Um, every bolt was replaced. Every heim was replaced. So really for Vegas Torino, all we had to do was send off the transmission, get it checked out, throw the transmission back in, um, fresh torque converter, and uh, new transmission lines. And okay. so... That's all we had to do for this so not, race. Not a whole lot. Yeah, you made the comment earlier. You're like, this was like the easiest race to prep for because 
you didn't go very far at Hammers. Yeah, we didn't put many miles benefit. on it at the last race. So. There's a benefit of not beating up the car at Hammers. You, you're you're ready for the next one. <laughs> not not the way you want to do it though. For um, sure, for sure. Yeah, and then so Ozzy, you're uh, what, what, you're co-dogging. You you in the wrong seat, as they say. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm in the right seat if you're from down under. But, uh, <laughs> there you go. Steering wheel's on the wrong side, but. Uh, <laughs> Justin gave me a call a couple of weeks ago, and he said, hey, how do you feel about doing the uh, Vegas Torino? And I'm like, well, I'm brave enough to sit in the car with you, so let's go. So did you run out of choices and then called Ozzy, or what happened there, Justin? <laughs> no, so Ozzy, Ozzy does so much for our program as far as getting the name out there, getting the sponsors, and uh, so I just want to get him in the car. Yeah. Well, and, and uh, yeah, if people don't know, he was uh, helping, helping you guys out with... Uh, crew chief stuff right and, yeah and he's he's been a big part of the team been for involved with the time. team for a long time racing you have your own racing background on two wheels right yeah i try uh i try mess with two wheels i'm not that good at it not like justin <laughs> i i tried king of the motos once i got about halfway through did it, you so, really yeah i did that's a gnarly race yeah man. i it was on a whim too i just thought you know what let's just do king of the motos i'd been racing district 36 and that was a dumb idea. Yeah, I did District 36 for a while, and yeah, that was enough for me. Uh, yeah, so Justin, uh, you know, Wix here, you did King of the Most twice now? Three I've times. only done it once. Oh, Last once. year, okay. I, I was registered for it, but we didn't have the car in time to make it down to oh, that's right. Johnson Valley that's for right. King of the Motos. So you had to, had to blow off King of the Motos. But then you did some other insane race. Actually. Yeah, we... I went down and raced in uh, Page, Arizona, part of the U.S. Hard Enduro Series. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, you're young; you can still do it. Yeah, my body doesn't rubber really bones. Like <laughs> Man, yeah, it's a lot of work. I mean, anybody that's ridden dirt bikes and then ridden in some extreme terrain, it's a lot of freaking work. Um, you got to balance everything. It's just like, and you're working the clutch and the front brake, the rear brake, everything just. There's a lot of shit going on. Oh, yeah. Every time I do one of those races, about halfway through, I question why I do it. But <laughs> <laughs> at the end of it, I always want to do it again. So, But a great, great sense of accomplishment, too, because the attrition rate, especially at, like, King of the Motos, the other one you raised and stuff, I mean, what, like, not even a quarter of the field finishes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Probably, probably less than that. Yeah. Yeah. At most of those events. Yeah. And it's not necessarily mechanical shit. It's just fucking people tapping out. It's Yeah, a lot of <laughs> mental aptitude. Yeah. It, it, that's what a lot of it is. Like, sure. I was not prepared for uh, King of the Motos. Yeah. I was like, yeah, what could, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I did have the bike fall on top of me in front of everyone. So Oh, jeez. That, that was fun. Yeah. That yeah. Was weird. When I started making dad noises getting out of the chair, it was right. time to stop doing that. Yeah. No, good, 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 uh, good on you for doing that, realizing that. Um, yeah, because it's, it's fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, cars all ready to go. Vegas Torino. So let's talk about Vegas Torino. So obviously you're leaving from somewhere near Las Vegas, and you end up not quite in Reno. It's near Dayton, right? Where you end up? Yeah, we finish at the uh, I believe it's the rodeo grounds in Dayton. Okay. So it comes out to about five hundred. What is it? Five hundred fifty-five. Five miles. Five almost on the money. Five hundred fifty-five miles, and then is it? Um, you have pits. How many pits do you have throughout the... We have 13 pits, I believe. And then no right. chase truck or anything, right? It's not like you're... I, I don't... We don't have a chase truck. I, I know like our pit trucks are going to just be leapfrogging, leapfrogging to every from pit. from pit to pit, okay. But nothing actually so on like course. If, but like Hammers is called a no chase race. So like if you break in between pits, you're pushing your car, walking, getting parts or something... A vehicle can't come out to you. Can that happen at Vegas Torino? Do you know? Oh, you know about that, Ozzy? Um, yeah, it is a chase race. So it is a chase. So, yeah. so if if something like a transmission line or something went out, you could drive my, a the, rig out there with the parts best, and fix it. To the best of my understanding. Okay. All right. Yes, I'll have to. Let me refer back to the. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I know the, I know sorry, the, I'm asking I, the tough questions this morning. But I do believe we can fuel if we need to. Okay, uh, out on out on the out on the track so. because that's a whole different strategy, right? Like, you know, I mean, obviously you can only carry so much stuff with you, but when you got you know you got that little crutch, or if you will, knowing that you can get a get some parts out to you, that that's got to be. I think mainly for feeling. us, it's going to be fuel. Yeah, because you know we have 
limited range on the bomber? Was it like... Yeah, we can safely make it about 70 miles before we have to wow. refuel. So okay. we're going to be stopping a lot during what do you, Vegas like a 35, 40 gallon tank or something? We have a 26 Six, gallon 26. tank. 26. You know what's funny? I have a bigger gas tank in my crawler. Do, do you really? It's 28. Oh my God. We okay. have a, uh, we ordered up a new fuel safe that's 32 gallons, but it showed up a couple days ago. So we don't really have enough time to yeah, figure, get it thrown in for the race. In. So just tie it to the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? You just go full overland. We'll put a rotopack yeah, on the back. Yeah, go overland with it. Say, oh, that's my, my RTT, my rooftop tent. Yeah. Oh, we've got a couple of rotopacks on the back. We're good. You know, <laughs> we'll put a fridge on the back, a couple of Modellos. That'd be great. Yeah, oh I my god! Like one of the biggest things, yeah, we're gonna gonna get about seventy odd miles, but we gotta watch because if, through the soft stuff too, we're gonna start eating through gas and yeah, you know, wheel speed, wheel spin, and and mileage is two different things. So so yeah, so you know, what what do you how do you do to manage fuel economy? I mean, you don't have a fuel gauge on the thing, right? You just you just you know you know from experience, Justin. But um, so so how do you how do you uh, manage that fuel economy? So I just like to limit wheel spin as much as possible. I mean, with the super lightweight car and a lot of horsepower, it's really easy to break those tires loose. Yeah. So I just try to be mindful of that. Um, so but you still put a, a wood block under it. the gas pedal or something? Oh, never. <laughs> it's foot to the floor most yeah. of the time. Yeah. I think a few of my words would be just tell them just to stand on it. Right? Yeah. It'll be, it'll be check and stand. Check and stand. Yep. Check and stand. Yep. We're wide open. Just take it. Yeah. Well, that's it, right? And we've had this conversation on the podcast before of, of how important the wrong seat is in keeping the, the head straight on the driver and uh, and trying to either preserve the car or whatever it is, right? And and managing fuel, in your case, it sounds like that's going to be the biggest challenge um, of, of this length of a race. Yeah, I guess we're going in blind, too. So there's no pre-running or anything like that. And the race nights just came out yesterday. I was going to say, the course just dropped yesterday. So, And that's, what, a week before the week before the race? Yeah, yeah that's correct. Yeah, yeah, exactly a week before. Okay. So, yeah, I've been going through it. They, they, there's not a lot of markings on there. It looks like they're marking only the big stuff. Okay. So, yeah, we've got to have, got to have our eyes on and like just bring the A game, make sure we, we're both on the same page. Now, there's course markers out there too, right? Yeah. And like danger stuff, if yeah, there's a drop off marked, or but, something. You know, you still got to, you know, well, mainly for the, the road crossings and stuff like uh-huh. that, but, you know, we've got to pay attention to, you know, what they have marked already on the GPS, especially for the G outs, because yeah. some of those big G outs are on the big long straights. Okay. So if he's not checking for You're hauling ass. <laughs> we're lawn darting. Yeah. <laughs> that's not good. No. Um, and there's there's all kinds of different. I mean, it's a desert race, so there's all kinds of different rigs out there, right? Yeah. I mean, the, you're you're obviously in the Ultra Four class, but I mean, there's like so many different classes, right? From oh. Volkswagen bugs to trophy trucks. What's what's running out there? Oh everything. man, everything, everything. It's, yeah. There's a huge motorcycle contingency. There's, yeah, I looked at the motorcycle lineup. There's a couple of hundred motorcycle riders. Really? Yeah. There's a lot and quads and. Everything. So, but we're we're leaving mid morning, so we should be we should be all right. Okay, we're leaving all the big boys too. Yeah, oh, that's cool. So we're either chasing dust or left in the dust or left in the dust. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so what? What's uh, how long does it take to go five hundred fifty miles in that race? What's what's a good I mean, time finishing time in the past? Well, if you're in a T one truck, it's six and a half hours. Well, sure, but like, let's talk ultra four cars here because that's what we got. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've never really, yeah, never looked into the Ultra Four finishers that have done it in the past. I know Chuck Crossland has, and uh, I watched him come across the line. What time did he finish? It was pretty early in the morning. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we we leave anywhere after 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay. So it's it'd be a solid run. I think it would probably take us at least 12, 13 hours, maybe. Yeah. Depending yeah. on how soft and there, there, there are soft and silty sections through there. Sure, it's going to make life a little interesting. Yeah, you know? and then and then yeah, so yeah, then and you got the rocks. The, there's a, quite a few technical rock sections. Is there some technical oh, rock yeah. sections? Not like hammers though. No, oh, no, it's just, not, no, it's just it's just twisty, rocky. Right? Yeah, so it's tire slashes, like head size boulders and yeah. yeah, a lot of tire slashes through there. It's all nice. you know the this Nevada high desert. Yeah, so it's yeah you. Know, You'll slice a tire with a razor blade. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, for sure. Tire conservation and 
Yeah. And then food. I mean, where, chow, what's what's that look like? You just bulk up with some pasta the night before and then eat some power bars during the day? Or what, what's that program look like? My game plan is going to be, yeah, load up on carbs the night before and then tape a bunch of Uncrustables to the car everywhere. And- <laughs> the Uncrustables, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a bit like that. Carb the night before, but I come from a cycling background, so I like those go blocks and, and energy yeah. shots. Yeah. I, I can't have food in the car. Yeah. It just give me... Give me synthetic energy. Yeah. I'm good to go. Okay. All Just right. Fluids and all that sort of stuff. All right. That's that's cool. Um, yeah. And then, so how many uh, on the pit crew, how many guys you got helping out? We have quite a few. I don't know the exact number, but I believe we got three pit trucks full of guys for wow. this race. So okay. We got a pretty good crew going out there. You got a good, good support then. Hell yeah. So just to circle back. Okay. Lovely, lovely Rhonda. Did Lorenzo, Lorenzo just uh, hand you the phone, Rhonda? Is that what happened here? <laughs> okay. Hi. Yeah, so we, we got the info, and it uh, looks like truck, Chuck Crossland crossed in 16 and a half hours. 16 and a half four. hours. Yeah. And um, Dustin Sexton, uh, he did it in 13.54. So, yeah, let's split the difference. So you're going to be turning on headlights at some point. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. The <laughs> hot designs are going to be working well for us at night. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, at least Justin knows that part of the track, so he's he that's his area. Okay, and it's actually probably fun at night, huh? I I honestly prefer driving at night. All the bumps and all the G outs, they all just stand out better. All the shadows, exactly, really helps out. I was explaining that I had uh, uh, Matt riding with me last night from uh, Portal Pros over here, and. Uh, and I said, I actually like driving at night better because it's easier. You're focusing on only what you can see, which is your lights, your headlight, in the view of your headlights. And um, and then, like you say, it's shadows and stuff. You know there's uh, some drop-off or something there or a hole, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it is. But, uh, yeah, the dust at night in the lights probably is no fun either. No, that dust part. during the day yeah, sucks. Gonna be, you got yellow on there? You, you throw some We numbers? are going to have amber yeah. on the car for Vegas Tree now. Okay, all right. So that helps out. And, and probably then, an amber lens wouldn't help either. Would help either with your uh, oh he- he- helmet. Yeah. 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 Um. Wow. Okay. So. So it's sixteen hours. It's not that bad. That's not too bad. I mean, that's a that's a road trip. Yeah, that's a long road trip. Yeah. And it, <laughs> it's not like you're just. Trip. It's not like you're in your F three fifty with massaging seats road trip. It's. I mean, the seats are massaging, but not in the way. <laughs> 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 that's true that's true yeah. you're not going to go to sleep in there <laughs> uh, no, no, no with Justin driving <laughs> I've, I've passed out in the right seat before have you really yeah when I used to co drive for my dad our first year racing hammers um, I passed out and uh, like 10 miles later he was like you alive and I was like where are we <laughs> is that going through the desert section or yeah what? we were just going through the desert just and I just after- and you just, just passed out. <laughs> wow. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I know. He fell, <laughs> he fell asleep because he wasn't going fast enough. <laughs> Whenever I'm in... <laughs> I fall asleep so easy when I'm just riding in racing seats, yeah. no matter what we're doing. Yeah. But. You're just in the zone, huh? Yeah. You're your happy place. You sound like my kid. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah he it's passes like, out on the rock section. Sure. Yeah. Well, you get yeah. rocked to sleep, but yeah. you're going slow speed. You're not going at race oh, pace. Even like, at, even even chasing Eric Wicks. And, yeah. Uh, in the trail bomber, and I've had I've had Archer strapped in the seat, and he is passed out, breaking <laughs> his neck. I'm driving one handed, holding his head back. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Poor kid's got whiplash. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Um. So um. What I, I mean, so you haven't done this race before. I've never done this never race. Done so this it'll race be a before. whole new experience for most of the people. So on have our you team. reached out to some of the guys like Chucky and stuff to see, get some tips from them or anybody that's raced it before? I haven't, but I got, I do have some buddies that have been pretty involved in Vegas Reno for the past few years. So okay. I've been getting some insight from them on, right on how to take it on. So I know Ozzy's been on his laptop sorting stuff out. So yeah, I've been calling people I know in the industry and talking to Erica and just being a, as big of a sponge as I possibly yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. Just understanding what they do and, you know, and I know Justin and what I can and can't get away with him with, how to talk to him. So it's 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 obviously timed, so you guys have a 10 o'clock slot or whatever, and it's one car off every how many minutes do I you know? It's, I think it's 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, for the first while, the dust is going to be crazy. Pretty bad. Yeah. 
Yeah. Unless we have someone really fast in front of us. Yeah. That is true. It's very possible. I mean, I, yeah. I believe we're starting with we're starting with the 6100 trucks, like right yeah. around that area, yeah, right? Yeah, we're, we're with all the 6100s. We're with all the big boys. We're all heading off at the same time. Wow. You know, and then the 44 this year, There's we got the likes of Waylon and and uh, and Bailey and who else? Yeah, Casey Curry's going to be there in yeah, the trophy oh yeah, Casey, Jeep. Yeah, we're not going to catch them. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you don't have a lot of confidence in yeah, us. I was going to say, what, <laughs> man, you're supposed to be like all positive. Oh, no, I know. I, we're capable. <laughs> just say it's, it's the trophy Jeep. Like, come on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. For sure. Yeah, But if he decides to put that in uh, into the King of the Hammers, then... He's yeah. got some competition. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Um, all right. What else? Uh, we talked about chow. Fuel's going to be a challenge. Um, you got three cha- or three rigs uh, helping you out, three tr- trucks on the pits. Um, what am I missing here? What else? Tires. How many tires are you bringing? Max is probably going to bring. Yeah. Max has is, Max is took good care of us. We're probably going to bring down. Five, uh, maybe six spares. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we just have the one spare on the car, and we'll be starting on a fresh set, and all of our spares will be brand new. So okay. All right. We'll be running the razors, or the, uh, sorry, the creepy crawlers for this race. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, we do have qualifying on the Wednesday. We do. Yeah. Oh, you do have qualifying. So yeah. So what, now how does that work? Because you've, you've got a time slot, but what's that? It's, it's, well, we have a time slot for qualifying, and that'll give us our start order. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it is. It is a yeah, starting order deal. I haven't found any information yet on the qualifying track. Uh huh. But that's in that's in Vegas, I believe. Okay. Okay. So, and then we have. What's that? What's how many miles is that qualifying? Do you know? I have no idea. No clue. I've not been able to find any information. Yeah, I, I haven't seen anything on the qualifying yet. <laughs> it's turn up and drive. You guys are just going to show up in Vegas and go okay. <laughs> Throw a few bucks on a slot machine and then head out to the racetrack, huh? Honestly, <laughs> I'm really confident in these guys because Justin, his ability to, to learn on the fly uh-huh. is, yeah, I, I, I don't really worry too much sure. about him. It's just, I think our relationship's pretty good to where I can just tell him what he needs to know. Yeah. And tell him when to pull his head in. Yeah, yeah. Let let your brain catch up. Right. So, but yeah, I think I think it'll be a pretty good run. Just just let him do his thing, and but just keep him on the straight and narrow. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, no, uh, that sounds like a good game plan. Um, oh, I was going to say, so yesterday I interviewed uh, Suli Bunn. Okay. Yeah. Bun. So just to circle back, since you're here on the podcast, uh, since since we last spoke with you, um, so to remind everybody, we, uh, Jim and Monica, Monica drew those, the drawing of your car, you know, twisted up with the tire in the air bombing through the desert favorite picture of yeah. all time so. you love that yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's cool, cool. i didn't know eric has a picture of his car like that too. yeah we they're in the same exact spot yeah. um i think it was the same year too yeah uh, yeah just both cars up in the air sideways yeah so your uncle uncle eric wicks there he he's got the i'm like he shows it to me i'm like no shit so that that's cool um but anyways uh you know we were raising some money for your car um to, to help uh, defray some of the, the rebuild costs. And then uh, we had 15 bucks, $1,500, 15 yeah. bucks, 15 bucks, 15 dollars, nothing, $1,500. My coffee's just kicking in. Um, and uh, you graciously immediately donated it to uh, Suli Bunn uh, to help her out with her, her fight with cancer. So um, anyways, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of circle back on that story. So that, that was super cool. That was, uh, that was a very nice gesture. So, good on you. <laughs> um, all right. So, so what else? So, after let's say successful Vegas to Reno, everything's good. Transmission lines hold together. No fucking fires. Um, what's what's after Vegas to Reno? We're if everything is good after Vegas to Reno, we'll be doing the California three hundred in October. Oh wow! Down in Barstow. So. Okay, that'll be cool. Yeah, that'll be a fun one, and uh, I believe it's UNLTD putting that race on um who's that? and it's the martelli brothers oh okay yeah yeah so and they're also in all their races from now on they're gonna have rock sections for all the rock classes so no kidding yeah so down at the california 300 we're gonna be going through rock trails kind of like hammers there so, you go all it'll right be a lot of fun i like it i like it yeah it gives the ultra four guys on the west coast a little bit more uh, sure a little bit more races to go to that's yeah, good we, we need it, it yeah. definitely need it i mean you know the the sport has grown so much 
and obviously you got KOH, the big race of the year, but you know, it's nice to see some of the stuff popping up in, in the desert racing, accepting and adapting for the, the ultra four cars. Um, because man, that, that's you know expensive to sit around in the shop. You got to go play with the thing, right? And go right. Race there's it. there's so many cars on the West Coast that are just sitting, right? So hopefully it brings some more of them out. That th- yeah, that that would be awesome. Yeah, there's there's a super high concentration of Ultra Four. Mm-hmm. Like half the field of, of King of the Hammers is <laughs> NorCal cars. Yeah, no, sure you're easy. right. You're right. Yeah. Um. Okay. So then, and then October, and then then it's it's prep for Koh. Yep, okay. right after California 300, we'll be getting right into prep for KOH. Okay. And how many KOHs have you you've driven now? I've driven three KOHs. Okay. I've only finished one. Okay. All right. Well, another year. Here we go. God, it's right around the corner, too. It really is. Less what than is six like months. Less? Yeah. It's all right. We've only got like one more sleep to get it done. So. <laughs> 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 well, at least it's not a week earlier this next year right because this year it was a week earlier and that all the all the procrastinators were like damn it <laughs> yeah i know you've only had a whole year to, yeah i know to, i know, to figure it out. I, know I think regardless of when hammers it, is it, it's always going to be last minute putting the car 100%, together 100 percent. that's yeah. human nature uh, yeah unfortunately you're always on someone else's time <laughs> yeah when you're prep because you're waiting <laughs> on parts and yeah that's the biggest struggle right it's like you know you're waiting on a part you got thing torn apart you can't put it back together until you get that one part or whatever it is or yeah i swear you know 99 percent of off-road people are adhd so we just leave everything to the very last minute sure yeah, it'll be fine sure it'll work out yeah yeah we'll work it out and then you rush into shock tune and everything else and yeah, it still works out yeah yeah and yeah, it worked out last year so why can't we do it this well year? there you go yeah, this sure. past year at hammers was stressful on us we uh we didn't really have the car driving until three days after we got to the lake bed so jeez, oh, that's right yeah yeah well, you were putting the trail bomber together too. Yeah, that is true. Well, the trail bomber wasn't running either when we showed <laughs> no, up to the lake right. bed. It, it, we didn't have any issue. running cars when we got to Hammers. I think I had the only running vehicle. <laughs> yeah, you did. Eric's trail bomber wasn't <laughs> yeah. running either. So. Oh, that's right. God, you guys had yeah. yeah. Old, Old Faithful is still chugging away. Well, new new year. Um, it'll it'll be good. You guys, like you say, every every race you learn something new, and the car keeps getting better. You get better. More knowledge. I mean, it's been awesome being part of the, the Wicks family racing, just watching these guys and being part of the evolution. Yeah. Just each year just gets more dialed, more dialed. We understand, everyone sort of understands more what to do, and it's just all starting to come together now. So with that said, um, you know, we got a, a new car coming to the Wicks family racing team that uh, Eric let out. But uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm excited, How excited to see yeah. what he can do in that yeah. car. It's going <laughs> to be badass. <laughs> Well, I'm going to let you t- say on the microphone what you said to me the other oh! day about Eric driving King of the Hammers. Right, if he doesn't, if he doesn't finish top five, um, I'm going to try and steal his car from him. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Justin's just laying it, laying it down. Yeah. So uh, it's it's being built as we speak, and um, it. The, he keeps sending pictures to me, and it is dead sexy, man. I mean, that thing would put a horn on a jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> Keith is an artist. Yeah, it, it, yeah. So Keith Beam's building it, um, and it it is going to be IFS. Um, and man, and Eric, don't mess around. He's pouring everything into it that he can best of the best so yeah you're right he's going to have zero excuse that's the problem when you got yeah. something like that he doesn't uh, have any excuses no anymore. excuses <laughs> i mean <laughs> and the car's not even built in the shit talking's begun <laughs> yeah i mean he's bringing a cannon to a fucking gunfight so oh uh, yeah well uh hopefully it works out he gets it done here so he can do some shock tuning get some seat time in the thing before hammers and get For comfortable sure. with it yeah and there's always new car blues so hopefully he doesn't yeah. have to deal with right? a bunch of those yeah, but then you, you look at, like, the Gomez's. I mean, brand new car, roll it off the trailer, and then they win the damn race. I mean, it's like, it's possible. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Anything can happen at the Hammers. Well, so between Eric and Justin, their they're driving ability and be able to pick up the vehicle characteristics yeah. super fast. Like, yeah. They're both it, super talented drivers, so... It won't take long Eric, for Eric to pick that thing up and figure out how to drive IFS over solid axle. Sure, sure. And he's just, he's just, he, he wants it bad, too. Oh, yeah, I he's mean, hungry. he's, that's, yeah. You just that's hear awesome. it every time he talks about it. Right? You just hear it. Like, yeah. he's hungry. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, 
So do you think your dad will ever get back in the car with you, or is his, he's just... I think he will, yeah. I was trying to push him to get in the car or drive for Vegas Torino, mm-hmm. but he was too worried about logistics for this race, uh-huh. but um, yeah, he'll he'll be back in the car again. Okay. I think he's... I I believe he's going to co-drive for the California 300. Okay, so. I was going to say, the California 300 would probably be an ideal race to, to hop in the right seat there, and... Yeah, that'd be a, that'd be a fun one. That's cool. All right. All right. That's good. Okay. So he's not hanging up the helmet yet. No, not that's yet. Good to hear. Okay. Yeah, he, he wants to be back in the car. Okay. Good. So. Good. 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 So, so yeah. Okay. So that sounds good, man. Well, yeah. best of luck to you guys. Appreciate it. We'll be. Uh, are they going to stream that at all, or is that just going to be like update on uh, go on the World Wide Web to their yeah. tracking system? I think more than likely it'll be on YouTube. Really so streaming on YouTube. Okay. And yeah. so rumors going around too that Miles is going to be riding in one of our chase trucks with a camera and microphones oh too, really so, yeah oh shit that would be great right on yeah we'll have the starlink starlink's the going yeah full force okay yeah. all right so that and we'll have we'll have our own trackers hopefully well i got my starlink up here so we can uh, we'll be up here at meadow lake watching or listening or whatever whatever we got yeah. We'll figure out something. We'll get Lorenzo on that. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We have, so. we have Wayne here. He's the ID dep- IT department. So. Oh, yes, yes. We do have the, uh, the, the IT IUD department over the, here. The wheel and wine and whiskey <laughs> IT department. He, he said uh, he's got... How many people did he say he had on last 126. night? 126 people on his on his network, his mesh network. Yeah. On one Starlink. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, That's he's, insane. He's trying to make it crash so he can buy another one. <laughs> <laughs> Things just gonna burn up on the roof of his <laughs> RV, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's either that or suck down one of the satellites from the sky. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, everyone just seems to automatically connect to the IUD mesh. Now. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like the password is if you've got it, you're at every event you're at. It's it's there. No, that's cool. Um, all right. Well, anything else, guys? Let's shout out your sponsors. Obviously, we yeah, talked so- about Maxis earlier, but. Yeah, I would like to start off with Bank and Bora. They do a lot for our team, so if you need any wheel spacers, they're the guys to go to. Uh, Max's Tires, they give us great tires. They take really good care of us. Um, Baja Designs, they, uh, they've they been hooking us up with lights oh, for sweet. a while. So, uh, yeah, um, we got uh, Morflate yep. on board, so big thanks to Morflate, uh, Warn, in, or Warn Winches. So they uh, make sure we always got all the proper recovery gear. Um Bun trail welders. So, yeah. yeah. So they make really rad trail welders. So, if you need something for your crawler, definitely go to them. Yep, for sure. Yeah. Factor 55, Max's tires. I already said Max's. Yeah. But yeah. Well, you say it again. We've yep. said it plenty of times, but that's a huge chunk, right? I mean, tires are not cheap. And for sure. Especially when you're racing, you've you got, like you say, six spares for this race. And those tires will all be shit after the race. So, it's, yeah, it's a, that's a consumable. Yeah. So, and uh, big thanks to Rufus Racing, too. They always help us out at all the races. And uh, they're coming out for Vegas Torino, too. And Chip's going to drive a leg of the race. So Is he really? Yeah, he's going to drive a middle portion of the race. And I'm going to be starting. And he'll okay. be hopping in. Then I'll be finishing. Okay. So, so he'll be in your car. Yep. Oh, he'll be sweet. driving my car. The bonus is there's no trees in the desert. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I don't know. There's some there's some trees out on the Vegas Torino course, so we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. see how it goes for Chip. Yeah, we'll have to tell Brad like, to mark those trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well that's cool. Um, Ozzy, you got uh, well, how they get a hold of you, Justin? Your uh, IG, whatever. Yeah, my my Instagram is just Justin Wicks. Yeah, um, that's there you go. That's about it. All things so. Justin Wicks at Justin Wicks. What about you, Ozzy? What's uh, uh, just, uh, just who you want to give a shout out to, other than? Wheel and Wine and Whiskey Pods at Pods Podcast, you know. Oh, the, the number one off-road The podcast. number one off-road podcast, yeah. yeah. make that, you know. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Since we, you work for our, our sister podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just work for them. Doesn't mean, you know. Okay, uh, perfect. That, you know, Toyota suck. So <laughs> perfect. There we go. In there. We got a Toyota suck in on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah, he did want to hire a Jeep guy, so that's on him. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, yeah, big big thanks to uh you know i'm proud to be part of the wicks family racing and part of rufus you know just i believe in these guys and you know it's just good family good people good community it really is um it's it's uh i mean we you know we tell stories over and over but it's just yeah it's it's just always fun heading into your guys pit and welcoming and the knowledge and the camaraderie is just just awesome man it's just you know 
it's very cool. So, um, and great, great opportunity for Justin, you know, at a young age to get to do all this cool stuff in a bomber it, chassis. It's, it's been fun watching Justin drive. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just seeing him get better and better. Yeah. And figuring it out, learning the car, like getting faster than Eric. Okay, so one more question, the final Jeopardy question. Are you giving rides today? <laughs> With the car as fresh it is, as it is, um, probably not today. Yeah, I didn't think so. I think it's, it's a show pony today, right? It's, yeah, good. it's today, in the booth? Today it's just for show. Me and Ozzy are probably going to be able to take it for a rip later. Okay. Just to make sure everything's working how it should. Right on. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it's in the Morflate booth right now. And, um, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. The people who weren't at Sierra Trek. Yeah, they, if you saw it, you saw it. If you're listening to this and you weren't at Sierra Trek, then you didn't see it. But you'll get to see it uh, hopefully uh, uh, on some some miles. Yeah, we, we're hoping to program get it to, that yeah, camera. We're hoping to get it to some other events and stuff like that. Get get some uh, publicity for it, and people starting to know. Yeah, the driver and yeah. the team, and uh, Justin's name out there in the industry, right. and. You know, just not another Ultra 4 driver, but, he, you know, he's part of the community, so people need to know who he is. Absolutely. Well, you've helped out a lot with that because Justin's a quiet, shy kid, you know, yeah. so I'll until make noise. he gets behind the wheel. Yeah, I'll make noise for him. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Well, right on, man. Well, thanks a lot. Best of luck. Uh, Vegas Torino, we'll be uh, cheering you on from, from here. Thank you. I appreciate Probably it. Probably with a whiskey in my hand or something, but, uh, yeah. Right on, guys. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you. And uh, we'll, we'll do another podcast following up how you guys did. Sounds good. How you won that race. How yeah. about that? <laughs> Winning in life. Winning in life. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. And with that, we're out. There it is. Vegas to Reno. Sounds like a fun race. I bet. What do you say? 500 something miles? Yeah. So it's, it's going to be a, <laughs> it's going to be a grind, man. Yep. Um, I think he said that it was like 16 hours that it took um, fucking Chucky, Chucky Crossland to uh, to do the race last year. So that's a lot of a lot of seat time in that car. Man, um, you got to have a good co-dog feeding you uh, Nutri-Grain bars or yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's, Cliff he's, bars. Or <laughs> yeah, they talked about that. I, I asked him about their chow during the race and uh, bulk up with uh, carb load the night before. But uh, yeah, so it's cool. So... We're we're excited to follow them and see how they they end up. Yeah, we'll have race results for you in a future episode, like we typically do. And uh, looking forward to seeing and seeing how they perform and how the car car behaves. Yeah, exactly. And then, of course, the car just it's so simple, but yet you know, sexy. It's just for a race car. Those bombers are just mm. um, super freaking cool. Absolutely. So Ozzy was trying to figure out the um, new GPS there, and I, I, I know he was loading stuff in at camp um, after we did the podcast. So um, getting getting it all dialed in, all the the G outs and the the caution areas, the road crossing, everything. I mean, there's there was a shit ton of waypoints on this map oh that he was showing me. Yeah, I'm like it, it keeps keeps him busy for sure. Is as the wrong seat. Well, the race pace, you know, yeah. whatever that is, yeah. depending on the part of the track. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's it's almost all desert. There's not any rock crawling in that. There, at there all. is there is some rock areas, but nothing crazy. Cool. Yeah, not like hammer rocks. <laughs> There's nothing like hammer yeah. rocks. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, that'll be good. And then he's doing the uh, California 300 after that, and then of course uh, it's prep time for koh 2025 oh my god and it's like 150 days away at this point it is uh, we it don't is have the calendar in front up, of us up on us quick so um yeah so looking forward to uh following their race along with some of the other 4400 drivers that are out there yep um so yeah well there's multiple multiple classes always around the vegas torino so you obviously there'll be ultra four and there'll be the trophy trucks there'll be everybody's Everything. everything's playing Everything. side by sides everybody plays so yeah. All right, cool. Well, we're uh, we're going to keep this short because you have this episode to listen to. Yeah, and and, uh, and we've got to get back to uh, Meadow Lake. Meadow Lake, yeah. The sun's the sun's shining, and it's time to frolic. So, how do they get a hold of us if they want to? Oh yeah, we need to remind everybody. If you want to, <laughs> we have, you can. The one way we really love to hear from everybody is with the voicemail, and that's four zero eight eight hundred five one six nine. Again, four zero eight eight hundred five one six nine. Call and leave a message, and we'll play it on the air. Well. We'll play it on the show. Actually, I think I do have a message. Should we save it for next time? Let's save it for next okay, time. We'll save it for next time. Yep, I do. Do and you have then, a message? 
And then don't forget about the IG. Follow uh, Wheeling Wine Whiskey on the IG. And you can also email us at chris at wheelingwinewhiskey.com or jason at wheelingwinewhiskey.com. Um, you can also go to our website, yep. wheelingwinewhiskey.com, and see all of our old episodes, past episodes. And you can also see links to our swag and so forth and so on. So That's correct. Any, any, I, that's, I think that's those are the best ways. That's a good synopsis on how to get a hold of oh, us. Oh, yeah. There you go. And with that, we're out. Sweet. <laughs>